Hi guys, uh, I previously put out a video on the Korean drama in relation to the Asia uh, Championship Note Wars. But if you missed that, don't forget to check it out. But I'll do a quick uh, summary here of the situation so far and what has happened. And we got a new development to it, which uh, I figured I would cover as well. So uh, two weeks ago, the Asian uh, Note Wars Championship started with uh, all the uh, Asian regions fighting each other. And um, basically the gist of it was... The Korean players played with uh, 100 ping for the first time. They experienced the lag, the desync, the box that uh, we all know and love so much about large-scale PvP in BDO, with TPing about, not being able to spawn, spawning dead, and all that stuff. They also got circled out, 3 versus 1, because the fights were 1 versus 1 versus 1 uh, on 4 nodes, and basically all the other regions teamed up and uh, smashed the Korean players. Uh, the good old, if there's no politics, you best believe there's going to be politics. Uh, so they uh, they did that, they sorted it out, and they, they got the W. Now that caused, of course, um, some drama, uh, complaints from the Korean uh, player base, and PA had to come out and officially apologize for the poor preparation, uh, the lack, and everything like that. Um, which resulted in an official stream with Jay himself, the CEO of Black Desert. Um, and they also changed the rules for the second round of it. They awarded everyone a win in the first round. So even though uh, Korea technically got killed first, uh, they actually awarded everyone a win in the round one. In round two, which was this Saturday, just a few days ago, they uh, changed the rules a bit uh, and everyone... All the GMs, uh, the guild uh, leaders of the, the guilds involved, agreed to these rules. And they did a uh, two versus two on the nodes. So they had two Korean guilds versus two uh, other regions guilds, and so on and so forth, uh, in, a, in a big match. And then they would uh, figure out who was the winner at the end with how many they won. So it was basically uh, two guilds from the same region against two other guilds from uh, our region. And... Um, the Asia region won, and the Asia region uh, consisted of uh, Sia and uh, Thailand and Macau. Uh, they consisted uh, of those in the Asia region, and they had their guilds, and they ended up winning the entire thing. Oh, it's just Sia. Okay, okay. Oh, Macau is in the other one. Okay, let's uh, let's do a retake re on that one. Um, the Asia uh, team is uh, consistent of the Sia region along with the Thailand region. They, they got together uh, for this here. They were also, uh, recently the servers were mer merged for node walls and stuff, so they represented the combined Asia region, and they ended up winning the entire thing. And um, you would think that was the end of it. But no. Today, we got a post on Inman, the Korean uh, Reddit, and we're going to read this now, and we're going to dive into it, and we'll see uh, some new evolving drama about this stuff here. So here, we are reporting intentional violations of the regulations for the world uh, base battles, the World Note Ball Championships, on the Asia server and loopholes in the Pearl Abyss regulation. So obviously this is uh, Google Translate, so there'll be some rough translations, but um, here we go. We are accusing countries that benefited from reinforcements in the World Note Ball. Two members of Super Ego, I believe this is uh, one of the Asia teams, the winners of the tournament. One of the guilds in the Asian server, there you go, are prohibited from using or strengthening reinforced items according to the game company's regulations. And they violated that, they say. We demand actions on this. I'm not arguing about rematches and wins and losses. However, if you plan to continue to deduct world battles in the future, I think you need to set a precedent uh, as account sanctions, confiscation of rewards, etc. to prevent something like this from happening. Furthermore, we have identified a number of players who violated these regulations, so we ask that justice be served uh, through and throughout investigation of all locks. <clears throat> 1. Violation of no strengthening rule. Uh, Super Egos, uh, Guilds, uh, XS4, do. In addition, we heard news that users of other countries were also abusing it. So, what are they talking about here? They are talking about alchemy stones. Um, as you can see here in the screenshot they provided, 
from the players there. The players here are using um, Splendid Alchemy Stones with enchants, and here we got uh, Resplendid Alchemy Stones, Splendid Alchemy Stones up here. Now, I don't know what the rules really were, but it seems from this here that at least the Koreans were under the assumption that you could only use Wells Heart. I don't know the actual rules about this or the actual situations regarding the, the items. So for the tournament, um, you did not use your own gear because the Korean players had a higher average gear score. Um, they also have access to the Fallen Guard boots, the HS shoots, which the rest of the world do not have yet. So the Koreans would have a gear advantage if you could use the, their own gear. Um, so what they did was they had a preset of gear and everyone had the same gear at, uh, available to them on the servers. So I personally would be under the assumption that any gear you had, you were allowed to use. But it seems here from at least the Korean uh, post that they were under the um, assumption and I would need to check on the, um, the actual ruling. Maybe you can find them and take a look and add it into this here. Um, but I would be under the assumption that if the items are on the server, you could use them. Just for better translation, all items that were given in this tournament, including Alchemy Stones, are stated explicitly by the GMs and the tournament is not to be enhanced. And this is the rule that some players from the guilds broke in the tournament. Oh, so they're talking about upgrading the Alchemy Stones. Oh. Oh, I see. So they were given resplendent Alchemy Stones and the rule, so this is the, the, the issues they have. On the server, the players were giving resplendent alchemy stones. Um, but they upgraded them to splendid. During the first wall, you can tap splendid, but the game don't allow you to equip use the effect. When they made the second wall server, they made it so you cannot equip, sorry, so you cannot tap splendid, but you if you tapped it before, you can equip it. Yeah, so they had access to a vendor, right? They have access to a vendor where they can buy all the items in the game. And that means they could buy resplendent alchemy stones. So they, they had an unlimited amount uh, to, um, to tap them. They had an unlimited amount, but they then needed to like uh, put uh, stones into them, right? To, to tap, uh, to try and upgrade. Uh, they let you buy ingots for the repairs and shit. Oh, they do? Wait, why the fuck did they stop at splendid? What kind of bitches are these players? Imagine stopping at Splendid if you have unlimited resources and you don't go for Shining. What, what the fuck are they doing? You know what? They deserve being punished for that. You know what? I'm in Korea now. How, like, what the hell? How are you gonna push your foot around and stop at Splendid? Man, that's weak. That's weak. These guys didn't want to win and they won anyway. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh. Uh, above famous is shining. Uh, no, this is resplendent. Uh, I'm checking. Yeah, this is this is resplendent. Yeah. So they just went for splendor. Yeah. The new splendor was enough to win. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's crazy, dude. Uh, currently, Asia is claiming that Pearl Abyss did not provide proper notice. Uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, which was another region not only made an announcement, but also received signatures on the regulations from each guild masters and notified them. Uh, in addition, we received reports that some players intentionally stayed on the event servers and abused the field boss world boss as of using uh, Patrigio's secret shop, as well as using Patrigio's secret shop. I, what, what would they gain for that? Am, am I stupid? What would they gain from doing that? Why are they doing wall bosses? To get stones to tap? Oh, for the black stones! I guess there was no mobs on the servers, right? So they couldn't... Holy shit, these guys are giga brains! I'm gonna be honest, with this kind of big brain and this will to, to win, they would've fucking won anyway. Yo, these guys, they, they're thinking ahead! That is actually giga brain! Holy crap. <laughs> hey, Rasa, thank you so much for the G1. And hey, welcome to the gun show. Oh, uh, anyway, you look at it. Yeah, 100%, Johnson. 100%. Outplayed, outsmarted, outmaneuvered. 
Blackstones. Okay, so let me explain what's going on here. Um, in the first, uh, in the first round of this tournament, basically um, all the players involved would get a character they could make on the server, and there was NPCs that had a specific set of gears that they were selling. On those items that you could buy unlimited stuff off, they have all the gear available, but only the same gear everyone. There was resplendent alchemy stones. So resplendent alchemy stones um, is a really good item. However, there is better. So you also have a build hard potentially for some builds. But what happened here, according to Korea and Korean players, again, investigation would be pending potentially if they even do something about it. But what happened here, according to this post from Korean players, is that the Asia region, which is Sia and uh, Thailand, they, on the server, they bought as many resplendent echo stones as they needed. They also had access to materials like ingots to upgrade uh, forts and stuff like that. So they could feed the alchemy stones and attempt splendid. However, there is no monsters on the server. So what they did was they did field bosses and world bosses that still spawned to get black stones so they could upgrade these alchemy stones um, during the wait time for the tournament to start. So apparently, according to this post, Several uh, of these uh, players went out and acquired splintered alchemy stones. And the Korean uh, is now complaining about this and saying it needs to be punished. They, they did say they're not looking for a rematch, they're not looking, but they want these players to be punished for um, to send a precedent going forward. Clever use of game mechanics. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It's definitely, uh, if the rules and all that we're hearing is, it's, de <laughs> it's definitely Giga Brain. It's definitely Giga Brain. This is absolutely insane amount of effort and thinking outside of the box. Um, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see like if there's any ruling on this because. Uh, again, we just have this here. We have some people here that was partaking in it uh, from the different regions, so we have been able to cl clarify some stuff. Um, but according to this post, at least, uh, some of the regions were told that they couldn't do this kind of things. But uh, thank you so much, Salon. Uh, let me check this here. Let's, let's, let's take a look. It's going to be even better. Okay. So, so this is the ruling that uh, the Koreans are referring to. In order to avoid battles... Uh, with the same equipment and the disqualification of participants due to equipped enhancements, items cannot be enhanced on the championship event server. Um, so, the loophole would be that enhancements is something you do on items. It's called enhancement when you're upgrading from tet to pin on gear. Technically, you don't enhance alchemy stones, you grow them. It's a growth attempt. It's in the game, when you attempt to upgrade your alchemy stones, it's actually a growth attempt. It's not considered an enhancement in the wording of the game. Now, the question becomes, what is the spirit of the rule? And will PA take actions on the spirit of the rule? or on the wording of the rule. So, um, it's definitely... <laughs> um, letter of the rule, sorry, yeah. Uh, spirit of the rule versus letter of the rule. Um, but technically, alchemy stones are growth attempt, not enhancements. Uh, however, it's obviously... Uh, <laughs> it's obviously, um, I would say, not intended. But uh, this should be interesting. As you can see here, we have uh, actually a perfect attempt. This is from the live server. But as you can see, a uh, successful grown into a splendid alchemy stone of destruction. Item growth success. Item growth success. And the attempt over here is a growth whenever you click it, growth successful. So in the game, the alchemy stones are considered growth attempts, not enhancements. Uh, enhancements are technically just for gearing, armors, and accessories, and weapons. So uh, this really is a 
actually moment if I ever saw one. However, obviously there is the, the spirit of the rule, um, which is what uh, Korea is uh, being mad about here. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, if it develops, if more things go out, if Korea uh, gets our official response from Pearl Abyss, we'll, um, we'll take a look at it then and we'll definitely cover it uh, one more time. Uh, exciting to see what happens here. Especially because, well, Asia was the region that won. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, if there's any developments, we'll cover that too. Uh, Kaya didn't even... F oh, I'll, I'll mention that as well, actually. I'll actually mention that as well. So, one thing to note here about this is, uh, even though the Korean uh, players are, are very upset about this, Asia and Korea never actually fought. Uh, there was a drawing between uh, which regions fought each other, and uh, KR fought uh, Taiwan, uh, Macau, and uh, Japan, um, and uh, Asia did the same thing. So there was actually never a match between Korea and Asia. So even in that regard, um, that's actually kind of crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. So guys, I don't know about this whole situation. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment uh, and uh, give me your insight on this stuff here. I'm at least looking forward to the next round. The, this championship is literally the drama llama that keeps on giving. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to the next episode. See you in the next one.